Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, while this product that I'm going to show you is not specifically a ham radio transceiver, it does have its uses for those custom DIY projects. Now, I've had this screen for a while now, but it's just been released on Crowd Supply. Now, I'll leave a link below for you to check it out if you need to know more about this. Now, this is essentially an 11.6 inch color touch screen, which can be used with a multitude of devices. More commonly, a Raspberry Pi, but other devices are supported, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Now, I'll show you a couple of examples that will be quite useful for the ham radio market. But first, let's take a closer look at the screen itself and what comes in the box. Along with a pack of cables, an external switch PCB, a mains power supply, a small leaflet containing information on how to connect the display to your single board computer, is all included. Now around the inside edge of the display, there appears to be some kind of removable strips, which are adhesive, suitable for just dropping that display into an appropriate mount. The main touchscreen itself is also covered in a protective film. And incidentally, the touchscreen part still works really well with that film still applied. So great to test it while you're still installing it. For example, shown in this video, I'll be using a Raspberry Pi 4. However, there are many other devices which can be used. All of the Raspberry Pi range and Orange Pi series, along with the Nvidia Jetson Nano and BeagleBone as shown here. Attaching the SBC is quite easy to do as the mounting holes can be adjusted to fit the board that you're installing. Using the supply cables, we can connect the Pi to the main display control board. Now this also provides power to the Pi via a USB-C socket. There are two USB cables provided, so one for a Pi 4 and one for a Pi 3 and below, or other SBCs that use that micro USB socket. We then need to connect the HDMI output from the Pi to the HDMI input on that control board, again using the supplied cable. Now the touchscreen support is via USB, so connecting from one of the USB ports on the Pi to the control board itself. The included mains power supply then plugs into that barrel socket, which is on that control board. One of the best ham radio related projects for this type of display will be to demonstrate Pi HP SDR, which is an SDR application that can control SDR transceivers. Now in this example, you can see that I have the Radio Berry HF transceiver Pi hat plugged into the Pi 4, which is then connected to my outside NFED half wave antenna. Now the control board does have a 3.5 millimeter audio output jack. So if there's audio coming in via HDMI, then you can connect a pair of headphones or even off to an audio amplifier to this port. It's also quite difficult to record a screen from a camera, so you're not going to see the best quality via this video, but the screen does look really nice. The max resolution on this 11.6 inch screen is 1366 by 768. Of course, you can go lower if you want to. According to the specifications, it also has a 178 degree viewing angle, which keeps the screen looking the same from whichever angle you look at it. Now the touch screen itself is very responsive and gives that feel of something like an iPad with other components like RF filters, amplifiers, and antenna port switches, you could potentially build your own SDR transceiver using a screen like this. Of course, you can use the similar seven inch official Pi screens, but this option allows you to have a larger screen for not a lot of money. Another useful project for this kind of screen solution is Ham Clock. Now I've never really reviewed Ham Clock specifically before, but it's a cool application, which provides some useful ham radio related information in real time. You could just use something like this set up on the desk running all the time while you're in your shack. Of course, operating the normal Pi operating system is also very easy at the touch of a screen. Now I'm sure many of you will start to think about possible uses of this touch screen around the shack, or even thinking about making a portable all enclosed system. Now, if you take a look at the Crown Supply page, I believe it shows that you get two desk stands with the kit now. Now, I didn't get them in my kit, but they do provide the 3D print files, so I'll think I'll print them off just so it stands correctly on my desk. 
but it will be interesting to see if we can get the Langstone or Portsdown projects working on this, but I need to do some research to see if altering the screen resolution is possible. Now at the time of making this video, this touchscreen is being sold around $99, but please check the link below for the latest details and price. If you have any other projects that you'd like me to test, or any ideas on what you could do with this screen, then let me know down in the comments below. It'd be interesting to see your thoughts on this screen, and if you think it's worth the money. Anyway, until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.